The Ghanaian Times begins the morning and says that eight fire service personnel dismissed uh, between January and April. Uh, NIA staff arrested for uh, night registration president visits uh, or presents vehicles to OT region. Uh, those are some of the stories on the daily, uh, the Ghanaian Times daily graphic. I was killed over snails, Isiakwa teachers dying words. Pass Wasi to shame free senior high school opposers. That's a precedent talking there. The finder, business finder says, banks capital hits 9 billion uh, cities at the end of February 2019. Uh, Daily graphic, threat of terrorism. Security agencies meet churches. Chief Imam urges Muslims to report strange elements. Those are some of the stories I have with me this morning. Now, to do the talking, my extreme left MP for uh, Sagnarigu and a member of the NDC is here. Alaji, you be here for seeing you. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing great. By the grace of God, mm. we're tired. Great. These difficult times. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Kabila is here. Kabila <laughs> Bob. I know you, but you prefer calling him Kabila. Kabila, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Hope you're doing great. We're good. You've been grace missing. Has found us. You have been missing. Let's you hope. left me out there. Oh, oh <laughs> let's hope that now that you are back, you, you will stay. <laughs> All right. Welcome once again. And then Eric Chum is a member of the NPP. So Mary, good morning to you. Good morning, Brian. I hope you're great. I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. Are you also in difficult times? Hey, you can't. What's that? What's, what's difficult times? And I just said that it's in difficult times. <laughs> well, trying to spin. Oh, I see. Definitely difficult. But right. I'm sure. When your mouth is even, off, what how can you blow to the candy? Fire? I'm sure that even <laughs> when I saw Alaji and his, how he's looking resplendent, <laughs> you can never convince anybody that he's <laughs> okay. in difficult times. All right. Uh, let's start a conversation this morning. Let, let's take a look at uh, um, uh, um, what. Dr. Kedra Frajan has been saying about the Electoral Commission quickly before we come to the issue of terrorism. Uh, Dr. Frajan is suggesting that time will expose lies of politicians about the Electoral Commission. Now, he has observed that with time, the lies being peddled about the Electoral Commission by various political parties will be exposed. The EC, according to Dr. Farijan, is always at the center of accusations of rigging elections in favor of one political party or the other by these politicians as an excuse for their inability to win the polls, as promised their financiers. Now, according to Dr. Farijan, um, these politicians, when they lose badly, then they must find excuses to hide behind their defeat, expressing hope that with time the falsehood about the commission will be exposed. This is Dr. Farijan's uh, issue. And uh, referring to what he says, uh, always the attitude of the position towards the Electoral Commission. Eric, let me start the conversation with you. It, is this an apt description of political parties uh, against the EC when they find themselves in the position only? Well, um, good morning. Mm. Uh, good morning to the viewers and then to my seniors here this morning. I haven't seen Kabila for a while. Mm. We used to eat fufu <laughs> at some joints. <laughs> oh, okay, that means that, you, uh, you, means that you, you, you have left him. No, but he is in, he, apparently he's in Cape Coast. He should have told me <laughs> so that anytime I'm going to Cape Coast, <laughs> okay. I would uh, stop over and then we can eat some, some fufu. Alaji, good morning as well. Well, I mean, I think that uh, for Dr. Farijan, having been at the Electoral Commission for a very long time, has seen different governments come and go and has uh, superintended. I think it's superintended about five elections or mm. so. And so um, <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and uh, disagree with him or not indulge him in terms of his uh, views and opinions. I believe strongly that because of the kind of democracy that we have, and we also have to be very uh, sometimes accommodating uh, with ourselves. We've been running this thing for the last 25, 26 years or mm. so. And for any democracy, that's a, still an extremely uh, young democracy. But we've made giant strides. We started from these opaque ballot boxes and uh, a register that didn't have biometric uh, protocols to where we are today. So over the period, I'm sure that of course, we've had challenges, and even the EC as an entity itself, uh, in certain times, have not 
cover themselves in glory in terms of some acts of omissions and commissions. But we've learned, I think, that over the period, the processes itself and the players within that particular uh, landscape have also become a bit more uh, matured in terms of our orientation. We still have some way to go, mm. uh, but I believe strongly that, of course, because of the whole conversation around um, what we used to call Vinatex or Kobla, when at the IEA, where there's always this uh, clamor for a certain convergence, a consensus on how we even govern ourselves. And it's always an opposition party that will take the lead. But when you come into power, uh, you're not sure you want to go that route. So for me, I think that the, the tension and the, uh, the sort of stakes that you would um, necessarily be facing is so high that there's tension and of course when you go into an election nobody goes into an election to lose so there are certain elements even in the last elections where our brothers from the NDC were in a comfortable lead but they had clearly lost the election and when you drill down you find out that it's even as a, a way of trying to galvanize the base and show up the base a little bit until the whole idea that an election has been lost is speculated through or it's cascaded down to the to the to the bottom then the leaders will be able to put themselves together and do something uh, that is really like noble like conceding an election and all of those things mm -hmm. we need to have a bit more trust amongst ourselves in terms of where we are going and what the processes are and this whole unnecessary pressure that we put on the EC or any EC. I'm talking about the EC. The electoral commission, yes. right. Uh, where when one party is in power, uh, they seem to be the uh, PR consultants or mouthpieces of the EC. And the opposition will see everything wrong with what the EC does. Really, I don't think can be the case. And the thing is that we've, we've got to a point where there's some level of uh, transparency to the point that the whole pro the processes that the EC go through, even at the polling station level, especially for the two uh, biggest parties in Ghana, I don't come now not like that, but for the two parties that have had the opportunity to govern this country since 1992, they seem to have that level of architecture on the ground to be able, and infrastructure on the ground to be able to track everything that the EC does. So sometimes, the whole idea or perception that uh, there's something untoward happening and everything really needs to be investigated a bit properly. But okay. we've come a long way. Okay. I mean, Eric, I'm grateful. Camilla, is it, is it perhaps the actions and the inactions of the EC that open politicians to that perception that the EC is doing something wrong? Well. Let me begin by saying that uh, Eric may be right when he says that the two parties with representation in parliament, as for bigness and smallness, mm. is another issue. <laughs> to because talk about. really, really, and there's literature to support that record keeping among political parties in Ghana is an issue that you, he cannot tell us today the exact membership of his party. For example, if we were to do that, we would then be able to aggregate and tell who has a larger following and, and so on and so on. But that's another debate. Mm. I think the thrust of what Dr. Forijan is saying is misrepresenting the Electoral Commission mainly because they do not pronounce elections in our favor. And we have seen that in our history. For anybody to suggest particularly following Ghana's move into biometrics <coughs> or using um, technology to improve on our electoral system since 2012. For anybody to suggest that one would be able to, on the, on the power and the authority of the Electoral Commission, you know, distort elections, rig elections, cheat in elections and go undetected sitting here, I will have my doubts. You see, the thing about technology, 
that it is not a sine qua non. It is not an absolute. Mm. Yet, technology gives us a higher reliance in the system such that nothing wrong can go undetected unless you don't follow through. At every stage throughout the chain, at every trail of actions, you can tell when something goes wrong. And I will say that it will be difficult for the Electoral Commission, whoever it is, representing their body, to call elections against the true will of the people at any point in time, and that will go undetected. It is not possible. We know it. Of course, people would attempt to manipulate the system. Mm -hmm. I'm not by this suggesting that it is not possible to manipulate, manipulate the system. It, yeah. Even the technology that is procured is manipulable. It can be manipulated. That is why it's important that integrity issues, the robustness and rigorousness of the software or the technology mm -hmm. that is employed are intact. And that is why from time to time, political parties, and I have been there, representing my party so for some for some time now mm. that both the technical and the legal issues are strictly adhered to but i think the point he's making is 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 so so important that we refrain from calling the electoral commission bad names when in fact we know they don't deserve to be called those bad names we have called them names especially chairs of the commission mm. in the end their pronouncements have shown that the names that we gave them really were not accurate. And we all should be minded and we should be careful. The key thing he asks is that, in fact, providence, or if you like, time. posterity, time yes. will expose the lies, the various conspiracy theories that are thrown about. I hate to en 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 indulge them because you see, they are so dangerous that. If you want to indulge the conspiracy theories, you will never trust anybody. You would never. But as Eric pointed out, we need to build a certain level of trust. Trust, I mean, for ourselves. No nation can go on under the heels of mutual suspicion and needless, uh, 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 you know, suspicions of mitra or, mit or mistrust. It cannot be. We need to appreciate that or, or give each one each other the benefit of the doubt that we are concerned about the building of this nation. Aladi may not agree with my methods, mm. but I must give him the benefit of the doubt that his methods are also noble. Eric may not agree with me, but I must also give him the benefit of the doubt that his I mean uh, uh, ideas and views are noble. They may not be the same. After all, realities are different. And there are many ways to reach a point. Yours may be through one path. His may be through another. But who says there are only two channels? There may be a third or fourth or fifth. So why do you think that yours is superior than mine? The most important thing is to respect the mandate of the people mm. when it has been given to an authority to govern. Mm. And I think that we should be guided in our utterances. Bottom line. Once we are guided and we don't say things that are fatal mm -hmm. to the integrity and the image of the Electoral Commission, we are good to go. That is not to suggest that they are beyond criticism right. or reproach. Mm -hmm. We have had occasions to question them, mm -hmm. including their losing cases in court. <laughs> <laughs> He's a general secretary of the CPP. Yeah. Hey, Alaji, so how should these members of the commission, particularly those at the top, behave so that they... The, the politician won't even have a, a, an issue at all to raise anything about lies with, 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 with the work they do. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, right, let me say good morning to the viewers mm. of TV3, uh, to your good self, my brother Eric, and uh, my lost comrade. <laughs> long lost. Uh, long lost comrade. <laughs> it's, it's good that you have had the magic to pull you here <laughs> for us to see him after a very long time. Uh, I want to just tell him that uh, no matter how disenchanted the old soldier is, you never shy away from the barracks. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, let me also say a good morning to the good people of the San Arugu constituency, uh, by whose courtesy I'm here. Uh, 
Right. Let me say uh, first and foremost that, see, on the day the village market is commissioned, that is the name, day they will give it a name. Uh, it is not for nothing that images are couched. And I want to say without any act of hesitation that maybe until very recently, the image and integrity of our electoral commission has been very, very sacrosanct and, and universally acclaimed until few things happen, and I'll go into some of them. Uh, let me set this record straight, that the NDC has no record of officially challenging an election. Disputing no, 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 officially, they, 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 uh, official. uh, going okay. to court to uh, challenge uh, officially. Yes. Okay. That, that's yeah, Eric, that's, 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 you went to court it, it, using anyway, the legal people's thing. You never went to court. If you go to court and the court tells you go back and come properly, mm -hmm. and you go and you never come again, have you gone to court? Ah. Have you gone to court? You have never gone to court because they tell you go and come back properly. You go and you don't come back. Where is the record that you were in court? It's debatable. It's not debatable. <laughs> it's not debatable. I roll on. I am telling you that it's not Kabila. It's not debatable. Mm. In nineteen ninety two, unlike unlike the unlike the MPP, he said official. In nineteen ninety two, yes, yeah. that's what I said. In nineteen ninety two, the MPP was in court, and and wrote the stolen verdict. Did they go to court? Okay. Yeah. In in in, in, in two thousand. No. Ninety two, did they go? They to officially, court? They, didn't, they didn't. They pulled out of the parliamentary the election. election. That was when not only them, including the, the PNC. Yes. Yes. So you were not allies. No. The PNC was not part of it. Let me, Kabila, then you tell me, I can't be, if you have something, you just, you allow just go to that when I come, come then you come. You. We'll have a second okay. light, two minutes. Each then, time. then, 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 in, 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 uh, 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 after that, the, the stolen verdict, eh? in 20, you saw what happened in 2012, uh, uh, very protected for almost a year, were in court, contesting the outcome of the 2012 elections, which sent mixed signals across the world, and eventually, Right, the issue was settled. Okay, now with we, we, one of the things that have uh, uh, brought the issue of the uh, integrity of, of the uh, uh, persons running our elections into this thing was in the run up to the 2016 election. I have never, and, and, and it, it, it was no other party again but the MPP that made very serious and damning allegations against the chairperson of the Electoral Commission to the point that. She had traded some other favors to get that position, and then she had been brought there to, to, to rig the election for the uh, uh, NDC. Right. Just like the advice and the counsel that uh, Dr. Farijan gave, that if you make those baseless allegations against EC officials, the declaration of the results will expose you. So when the results were declared, the very person who was assailed with all those kinds of allegations and criticisms, was a person who held the hand of President Dana Kufado and declared him the victor in the 2016 elections. So what the MPP should have done decently, as, decent, as a decent political party, should have been to render an unqualified apology, not only to the lady, but to Ghanaians as a whole, for making those baseless allegations. It never happened. Brad, on the contrary, they proceeded to take steps to remove her from office. And that is what has sent this, uh, uh, the, 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 the whole thing about our electoral body spinning. Never in the annals of our country's history have we traversed that path where a sitting government uses its uh, political power to get somebody removed as a chairperson would of the electoral body. What you want party. to say was a political power? Was it, it was. It was. A it was. set up by, Look, I mean, the, the right, right processes were. I can even were, tell you that there are, are MPPs in a hurry to waste side processes. There is a, a petition by the people of La. For the removal of the chief justice, has the president referred it? So he says that he's a conveyor belt. He, 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 anything that can, he will, has he referred the petition of the people of La? But in the case of the, 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 the listen, they got faceless people. Look, Brad, all of us know how the, 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 the issue was uh, decided. That when even the petition was even forty, they had to give it to back, back to them to go back and correct it and bring it back. Somebody who was among the petitioners was somebody 
who was dead from the letter commission years ago. He was among the petitioners. How can uh, uh, Brett can a dead man petition? His name was among the petitioners, which found its way to the presidency for which the president acted. So when you have all these dubious circumstances, I mean, coming together to result in the removal of the chairperson of the letter commission, you are creating a very serious uh, 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 doubt. And worst of all, the people you bring in, if there's reason to believe that some of them, and, and, and it's on record, they are mentioning Dr. Bosman Asari as a patron of Tescon in Lebanon. He's a known MPP person, and he's been touted now as the vice chairperson of the Letter Commission. What are you doing to our Letter uh, 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 body? The sanctity of our elections. I say that we should not do anything that will create doubts in the minds of the people. That even up in issue, from the very onset, the character of the people that you are bringing. I, 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 I say that people suspect that there are people in your stable. At least nobody could find Dr. Farajan and, 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 and link him to any political party. You can do 100 years of research. You get nothing. Even the Charlotte say, all they say, they could not bring one out of proof. To show. He says he stood on the ticket of the NDC somewhere in the West. It's it's never. It was never. It was not proven. Right? Never. It's not true. It was a figment of somebody's imagination. But it, it, well, well, people are making allegations against Dr. Boss. But if you go to Lego, the record is there that he was a test competitor. You know that for a fact. Yes. He's a test, he was a test competitor. You understand? Uh, there are allegations against uh, uh, the chairperson himself. I don't want to go into that at the moment. But this is where uh, what is setting. And so from the, from the onset, we should not do that <clears throat> to create doubts in the minds of the people that you are packing the commission with your, your, your party members and supporters so that they can do your bidding. Even if that is not the intention. Eh? Uh, uh, Brett, when, when all of us are standing erect and you alone, you squat, and we find something there, we say we put it there. That's why the government say that squatting is like doing something. It's in the morning. I don't want to go there. <laughs> but that is what it is. <laughs> so it is important for us to safeguard the sanctity of, our, uh, of, of the commission. Because like I said, Ghana's mm. had one image and integrity in our democratic process. It's anchored solidly on, our, on, 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 on the credibility of our elections. So we should not do anything to do that. So I, 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 I see what Dr. Farajan is saying as a vindication at the end result of what uh, 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 allegations people make. Mm. But let us also know that the Letter Commission is also staffed by human beings. It's not a perfect institution. So they can go wrong. It's possible. Look, in the run-up to the 2016 election, you know at a certain point in the declaration of results, the declaration was suspended. Because what did they say? They said that the trans electronic transmission of the results were compromised. I'm sure you are aware. You are looking at me and smiling. <laughs> you are aware. I, I, so, I, I, you see, I, 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 I like you so, so I'm saying that, I'm saying that I, there are many issues, mm, right, yeah. which all of us as a people must deal with. And that is why uh, 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 all of us must be very vigilant in the run-up to the 2016 election. From the, pro from the very onset of the uh, uh, compilation of the voters' register, we have to open our eyes and be sure that not a single Ghanaian is disenfranchised. We are already hearing a number of things about the method with which the, 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 the registration uh, 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 or, or the, the compilation of the voters' register will go using either the Ghana card or something to disenfranchise. We should all be alert and ensure that no single Ghanaian mm. is disenfranchised. Okay. Every Ghanaian, the constitution of this republic, right, has made abundantly clear who is qualified to feature as a voter. Okay. But, Brian, I like I'm grateful. Uh, Let Kabila come in I, briefly and then we can move on. I think the most important point to appreciate here is that whilst um, following what Dr. Farajan said, it is important that people or persons who get the opportunity to work in that uh, revered outfit, Electoral mm. Commission, hold themselves in high regard and above reproach. It's important. You see, I, what I find strange is what my big brother, Alaji, has done this morning. I, quite, I find it quite strange. You see, I share in his view on what the New Patriotic Party and its assigns did to Charlotte Osei. When she was appointed and in the conduct of her works, Eventually, as it turned out, when she had to declare, or the people of Ghana decided that Nana Dudan Kwakufuadu should be declared president, she had no option than to declare the aspiration and the will of the people. And I think, 
I agree with him that those persons in the new patriotic party who made those disparaging comments about her owed it to Ghanaians to apologize to the person of Charlotte Osei and to the good people of this country. But why do I say I find it strange? You have said this here, and you're doing the same thing to Jim Mensa. Have the results been declared? Please, please, <laughs> please, please, please. Hold on, hold on. Allah, you, Allah, Allah, you come back, so don't interrupt. You see, you see, Allah, you come back, so don't interrupt. You see, you are doing this to Jim Mensa. Let, let, let's be brief about it so that we can And you are doing this thing to Dr. Uh, uh, Asare Bosman. Look, he taught me in political science at the master's level. I don't know of his party affiliation, mm. and I engage him politically. I have no reason to doubt you. But I will that be, is if, if what he said is, if what he saying is okay. true. But I have my doubts that he would be, uh, uh, he was patron of, of, of Tesco. MPP. Okay, uh, sorry, of, of, of Tesco. Of right. Tesco. But we'll if, find out. We'll find out. It's not even, easy to, even, it's not if, even if he yeah. was, even if he was, mm. how does that disqualify him from becoming okay. appointed as chair of the... You see, the danger in doing these things is that I'm sitting here, I'm the acting general secretary of the CPP. You are saying that tomorrow I'm not qualified to hold any public office? In another government, because I'm CPP, it's dangerous. So, so if your Let's candidate wins an election and makes you the chair of the electoral commission, that, that would be fine as the, the acting general secretary. Mm -hmm. If my, if your your candidate, my CPP candidate, yes. wins election, yes. 2020 no. election, yes. and makes the acting general secretary a chair of the CPP, that would be fine. That is when the position has become vacant. Hey, and, and, and I have hey, the hey, qualification hey, too. Okay. Yes. I see nothing wrong with you. So see? that would be fine. Okay. You see, you see right. I mean, let's go. you should get my position. Mm. I have heard people say that if your father holds a certain position, you should not be appointed into. I don't belong to that school mm. of thought. People must be measured on their own merits. Mm. But this thing about your relation this, your relation that, if we do that, we are, okay, are you saying that I should suffer despite my sterling qualities? Because my father has been MCE in Kintampo before, I should not be appointed into an, a, any other position in Kintampo. What, what, what logic is that? It's dangerous. And Alaji, you wouldn't want that to be done to your son in San Diego. So don't let us play that line. Even if Dr. Asari Bosman was an MPP uh, uh, constituency officer somewhere, mm. it does not, this, uh, it does not, huh? this, uh, uh, it does not uh, disbar him from let me ask you a question. Holding, can such a person be impartial? <coughs> Impartiality is a subjective thing. But we it must is? all yes, yes, it is. I but see. there are objective standards to which it, it can be measured. You see, take my, my issues, the issues that I'm raising in context. I'm not saying that should be the norm. All right. But I'm saying that there is nothing wrong with it. But it then imposes a responsibility on the individual that once you are being appointed from a certain stock. That may seem to be wanting to do something to this its advantage. You need to hold yourself above reproach so that nobody would say that you are doing this because of your party or that party. Otherwise, we will not even have judges. Who says our judges don't have uh, right. a right. political right. leanings? I'll right. right. come to you, but Eric will do yeah. some. So is Two it, minutes and then we'll go uh, to Alaji. I think that uh, Kabila is basically taking the win out of my soul. But uh, just a couple, uh, just last week, former President Mahama was in Oxford, and he was talking about the 2016 election being rigged. He didn't say that. Let okay. Me he didn't say okay. that. It was a media <laughs> twist. Okay. okay. That's okay. correct. Because uh, yes. I discussed uh, it. I'm not going to ask you. I have no opportunity to get the whole. Let me finish. Eric, let me Eric did you he didn't say that. Or you read from the news? Let me finish. Let me finish. No. There's a debate about that. My brother. Let me. Let me make. Okay. Let me make. I use the word suggesting. I use the word yeah, suggested. He didn't suggest that. Listen, listen, he didn't suggest that. Did you ask him? Eric, did you read from that. the newspapers? Why, or are you why, listening why, to why, so I will share this with you. You're continue. allowed to, but like we, to we just want to clear this because I'm, I'm, clearly he didn't say that from what we heard. That, that the well, newspapers said he that say, is what right? he said. What did he, say? He, he did not say that it was rigged. What did he say? He did not say it was rigged. He expressed misgivings about and doing what? Asking the EC to come out and clarify, right? And determine how IT systems were hacked exactly. and that might have led to rigging and he oh, even didn't say rigging. Listen, listen, making reference to Kenya and Sierra Leone or whatever mm. in recent past. But you see, apart from that, I was very restrained because like I'm saying, we're still a fledging democracy. We've made mistakes in the past and everything. But even Dr. Dan himself, this conversation around posterity and everything. It's fine because, you see, it's a hindsight thing. And they say hindsight is a beautiful thing. 
There's still an outstanding 750,000 people who were part of the 2012 elections that Dr. Farijan has not been able to come out and tell us where those people came from. Who were people who were registered abroad? Are you worried about Dr. Bahas? No, you see, no, no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you see, I'm saying that. And when the, he was asked to provide those details in court, as we speak today, he was unable to. I think he was able to bring about 712 or so. Now, that's what I'm saying, that the EC itself, as an, a body, as an entity, mm -hmm. had done certain things that has not, it's not something that we can call uh, uh, perfect and have not covered itself in glory in certain aspects. But we can move on. You understand? So okay. to try and uh, say okay. something Eric, let me move on. And because I'm running out of time. And make it look like, uh, uh, well, uh, everything uh, uh, has coming. gone on uh, perfectly. Uh, uh, briefly. Uh, in the AC. Uh, I'll you just and do one minute and then we'll move on. Uh, but let me remind all of us that right. the EC has said somewhere, mm. uh, I think somewhere uh, that uh, it, it got it wrong because its systems were not hacked. Uh, I, like it. I think you referred to that, but later on the EC said that the system But that is, where, that is where the problem uh -huh, is. Uh -huh. The chairperson it's made the pronouncement. Right. Right. The subsequent one was made by it, somebody in the PR in the, office. Yeah, exactly. See? The and I'm sad that the EC must come clear on that. You see? If nothing happened, mm -hmm. why did Charlotte Osset tell the whole, the whole country that, and the world that the system has been hacked? But she didn't say hack. Because that the hack was compromised. Was compromised. Yeah, okay. Let's, 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 let's wrap up and let's move on. It's a second. A 30 second point, please. Okay. please. I'm Quickly. saying that the three of us here, we are politicians, you see, and sometimes it's important that on issues like this, we actually have a certain convergence because mm. it's always a tendency for those players to play us against each other. In the final analysis, we are stakeholders. They have a responsibility to do the right things, to make sure that the Electoral Commission, as an entity, is able to, one, prosecute elections, that is free and fair. That's it. Okay. You know, so for us, so for us to sit here and say that okay, the MPP has a different position, the CPP has a different position, the NDC has a different position, actually plays into their hands. That's my view. I'm, I'm grateful. I'll let you wrap up for me. You see, uh, uh, let's. Uh, right. You see, the evidence of this about whether the system was hacked was the suspension of the declaration of results. It was a fact. It was suspended over a certain period. Why? But because <laughs> it, there are so many reasons. Please, please, please. please, please, please. please. I'm there. telling you that's the reason. There are, so, you know, I'm, so, I'm, I'm so, so that's why. why. And, and I'm sure that Eric should be the last person to be throwing figures, asking Afarijan for figures. And Look, Dr. Baoya. <laughs> Dr. Baoya. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like this law of always here. But. I've always said that if he gives you good money, look at the position of the sun before you respond. <laughs> look, this issue about the figures. He held a press conference. You remember about the voter region figures that he gave? Over 70,000. And that was 10% of okay, what he said. DC, uh, he said it. And that the, the voters register was inundated with Togolese. And that he had discovered 70,000 voters. And that was one tenth. So he multiplied by 10, 700,000. Okay. Since then, he had never come out to prove the figures. You are asking Dr. Afraja to come out and prove the figures. Go and ask Dr. Bamiya to prove the figures that he brought. I'm grateful. But I, am, no, but I, am, I have not come to the substance yeah, yeah, yeah. of like it. Like 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 point, I, I like you quickly. I, I, I sympathize with the points, but the human being is a complex machine. Of course. True. So that is why, uh, 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 Bright, they craft something called conflict of interest. Mm. That because you are human, uh, Brad, if they ask you if you're a judge and they bring your son before you, in almost all probability, you have emotions. He's your son. I recuse myself. So, yeah, so that's why in, in the judiciary, people have what they call recusing themselves for cases. Yes. Because of certain emotional attachment yes. they have to the distance. Yes. So you go and make a course, uh, a test con, uh, 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 that is not uh, a I like it. I am saying that it is a yet. Let me be you I am telling you that it's a fact. Which which year? Which year? He himself has not denied it. No, which year was it? I'm I, 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 I am just telling you. I am just saying that he was a patron until he left the university. If you say otherwise, that cannot be true. Yeah, I'm saying the truth. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm my producers to find out that. He was patron until he left. But let's bring the president. Patron. I said patron. Patron. But he left. Aladi has finished. You see. So I'm saying that. You see. Aladi is that. I'm grateful. We have 15 minutes. Aladi. But I'm just saying. Let me land on this. Are you saying that in the appointment of the decision, if you had to appoint somebody against whom allegations can be made that he's a test you can't get any better person. 
again in the whole country. Are you saying? To are you saying? To approach as a person that but uh, uh, you can't get any other capable person. Are you? He's the only capable person. No, 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 no. What are okay. you raising? Okay. 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 Let's move on. They were aware. Let's the say are you raising disappointment? They were aware that there is no appointment. There is no appointment made in Ghana without controversy. So you should have taken him out. Alaji, there's no appointment. If you are saying there are less controversy, your friends aren't working now. There are some that are less controversy. Thank you. Appointed. Thank you so much. Now let's let's spend the last fifty minutes on the. The, the the radio thing. I think that let's broaden the conversation as to uh, which direction should we go. Kabila, let me start this conversation with. This story is well known. Which direction should we go in protecting media houses and to also ensure that we have a, a press that is not stopped from doing what it wants to do? I will start by saying that in this country we are um, in many ways a group of lawless people pretending to be law abiding and we pretend in many of our issues and cases I don't see how this matter traveled the distance that it has traveled to this from 95 all the way to now yes. and you see it's as if we are discussing radio gold and XYZ it goes beyond these two institutions and so I want to preface my comments and my recommendations with a, um, a, a statement that in this matter, mm -hmm. NCA versus those stations that they have closed down, nobody is entirely blameless and nobody is entirely blamable. I mean, nobody is entirely blamable and nobody is entirely blameless. Each of the institutions involved will have their fair share if we want to look into the matter, dissecting it to the core. But what should we get there? There are questions that Radio Gold and XYZ will have to answer. There are questions that NCA, as a corporate institution, will have to answer. And I don't want to be told that it is this regime. Mm. We must build institutions. And when you inherit in, and in, I mean, challenges within an institution, right from day one, you should be seen as tackling those problems if you want to show that you are a, 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 a macho and a strong man who wants to change things. You don't wait till two years down the line and begin to take action. That itself shows a complicity in, on your part. And we need to be mindful of that. Look, per the decision of the Supreme Court in the uh, Radio I case you cannot operate within the media landscape unchecked or unregulated in fact i would have been surprised if the supreme court had not made that pronouncement because we are human beings mm. we can't give we can't ask everybody else to be regulated but allow the media to go unregulated why are they made of superhuman beings and the dangerous thing is that the power of the media to do evil is more ravaging than anything else the media, as much as it can do good, its power to destroy is greater and immense. And we must not, I mean, uh, underestimate that possibility. Mm. So it's important, and that's why we have the NCA regulating the spectrum. We have the uh, NMC, yes, which the CPP has suggested it should be made an authority. Because if you look at the advance of media landscape now and the sophistication, and social media and all these things. That, does the National Media Commission have the capacity to monitor all these things? You need to make it an authority and strengthen it, empower it more, resource it more, so that they can work and ensure that we regulate some of these things. You know, I believe that there is some tension between our inner desire to get things working for us in this country mm. and our attitudes which are so incongruent with that desire coming into full force against one another, manifesting in some of the issues that we have had. Otherwise, I don't believe that even the Jaxtapo Rambo style with which the NCA went to those stations to go and close them down was necessary. Those stations did not also have to wait till that time for these things to happen. So, right, I say that everybody has questions to I mean, answer. To answer. So at this stage, my suggestion mm, quickly. is that we must make sure that they sit down 
and talk. I've just been given a copy of uh, the statement that was issued by the chief executive, no, chief executive of uh, Radio Gold, my good friend James Ajinim Boateng. And I think that uh, per the content of this statement is a way to go. Is a way to go. And I believe that the NCA leadership would also listen and let us work because this matter has needlessly entered into a political fray. Right which has given it an entirely new dimension, as though whatever we are doing is politically motivated and has nothing uh, 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 empirical or nothing, if you like, you know, uh, uh, to speak to with respect to the laws or guiding the activities or operations of these stations. And we, we need to grow uh, above um, in those things. Okay. And then we need to also make sure that in applying the laws, we are not selective. We should be even handed and brought in uh, uh, and all and, and, and comparison in ensuring that we are not accused of selectivity or bias in any way whatsoever. Uh, Eric, come in. Give us more recommendations uh, as to which way to go. For me, I think that um, uh, to a larger extent, I agree with Kabila in the sense of the fact that something has to give. And regardless of the fact that you would accuse the NC of going to sleep, over a period, at what point would NCA have to start cracking the whip and making sure that the right things are done? So all those entities that find themselves culpable as we speak. And you see, there are so many different infractions. Apparently, there's about 132 of these media houses that have issues, issues. with the NCA. And the major, the, the most, um, the gravest ones are the ones who basically have not paid for their spectrum over a period and don't have authorization to actually operate. And I feel that because of all the things that have happened over the period and they are uh, building some brand equity over the period and all of those things, the law should be applied, I mean, in a strict form. And then, whilst they are open, the NCA yeah, is up. not it's, amount to guard no, in the media. No, it's if not. The law it's, is it's, it's, it's not at all. Straight as well. It's like, it's akin to saying that uh, you go into a community and there's a quack doctor operating who has been able to deliver some babies and has been able to give uh, remedies to certain people and because of that, you should allow him to operate. You understand? It's akin to that. And the okay. thing is that we need to be principled and anchor some of these uh, things in, in principle. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Is there a way of engaging the NCA uh, with the other stakeholders to make sure that, well, it doesn't happen again. There are systems in place to alert people that, listen, my authorization is due, and the NCA itself is proactive. And like Kabila said, I mean, some of the cases, it goes as far back as 2000 or so, which means that we're talking about a 19-year period, and some even way beyond that. What it means is that there's a certain element of culpability from the the authority itself in mm. terms of making sure that people are up to scratch with whatever licensing and authorizations that they require. But the law needs to be applied. You see, we have this conversation all the time about strong institutions and you quote Obama and all of those things. And then all of a sudden when it applies to us, we pick and choose what is, needs to be applied. And it's more, almost as if that we are operating this whole democracy okay. on an expedient level. Let's apply the law, the law no matter who is involved form, okay uh, no matter who's us is gone okay and then because of the fact that we are human beings and we have all these other considerations let there be some kind of interaction between the nca and the various stakeholders giba and co and find a solution to that but that's call that's orientation that the right things needs to be done shouldn't be something that the media because by view of the dint or the fact that it's meant to be uh, freedom of information and they have a right to, so they would do everything that they like. But as far as I'm concerned, we're, we're, if, we're, I want, uh, Eric, if I want Eric, Eric, a, a spectrum uh, today... Quickly, uh, Eric, quickly, yeah. but what's also told, you see, that uh, repressive government have always used uh, the law to, to, to guard media houses. No, so but, that, see, that, that but I, 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 I don't see that. You see, the thing is that in the same vein, with that same logic, 
you can use that logic as an excuse or a justification not to do the right thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, so uh, you, Johnny, let's take some comment. Yeah. Yeah. NCA yeah. shut down Sunyani Bates Pro NPP Space FM. And that's also another one. Uh, John, right. come on once again. I have just, yeah, right. I've just conferred you. with my, my uh, former uh, uh, master. Dr. Azari Bosman has never been a test He was test one. He was prove it. I had to ask my producers to find out for me. I mean, I can understand that. I to him. Is it test code in Sanirugu? No, no, I'm not saying anything for him. Is it test code in Sanirugu? But I'm telling you that he was. He that wasn't. He has never been. Is it test okay. con in Sanirugu? Is it test con in Sanirugu? Let's take the test con in Sanirugu. 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 Let's I like golden humble pie. There's Radio mm. X Gold. There are two of them. And He's not even a good candidate. Yes, you do. Never be. Galam say. And the microphone is being changed there. So that's what Tilapia is sharing with us. But let's get on to it. Okay, please allow Johnny. Allow Johnny. I'll ask the fan. I'll produce that in the studio so we can read the comments. Thank you. They have the microphone now. You don't. Thank you. Alasa Wana Iwasa says, officers, we have to collaborate and cooperate with the EC and stop saying things that are not palatable to the EC just because you are in opposition. My regard to Haji Ahumu Aoudo. I disagree with the panelists regarding the conduct of the EC. The biometric registration was ineffective in Ashanti and these two regions in 2016 because they allowed their supporters to vote many times. The EC boss. Uh, current TC boss declared 99.9% .9 voter turnout in the regional creation uh, votes. That's the referenda. Uh, Kwesi La Paz. Good morning. Uh, TV3, the day that the village market is commissioned, that is the day it will be named. So the very day the ruling government took steps to remove Madame Charlotte Osei and replaced her with uh, Madame Jean Mensa was the day the EC as uh, name was changed to elections corruption allergy. You do all. Don't mind Kabila. TV3. Election rigging starts from the process to the day of election. The current leadership of the EC is trying so hard to use the process to rig the election for the MPP. Joseph Boga alleges. Senator Bright from Dan Summon says, please tell Kwabena Bonfair that it's not true that the EC can't rig an election for a party. Ask Bonfair if he's comfortable with the arrogant posturing of Bosman and Jean Mensah. They are incompetent and if care is not taking, they will care create problems for the country <laughs> ever. Uh, Michael Amini in the UK says, the so-called media vanguard who are making so much noise about the shutdown of Radio Gold or XYZ should spare ears with their hypocrisy because if they have complied or they had complied strictly with the laws that set up their operations, the NCA would not have shut them down. There are other law-abiding media stations who have no problem with the NCA and are free in doing their work without hindrance. The government of President Kufuado has no agenda in suppressing the media because President Kufuado has sacrificed a lot for the Ghanaian media. According to Aladji Fuseini, a dead uh, person petitioned Nanado before Charlotte Osei was removed uh, as an MP and a lawmaker. What he did do to counter the petition? Let's help the country to grow. Joseph Otu is a communications officer at the Shaman asking Aladji a question. Yeah. A.U. Farouk in Tamil he says, good morning to you all. MPP through Ga thought Ghanaians have short memories. MPP in 2000 said uh, when they come to power, MPP will convert all slums in Ghana to world-class flats. Uh, that was a 2000 uh, manifesto. Atacha is repeating the same line now. Ghanaians are not fools. Delata Kradi Kujokrum says, in fact, Ghanaians are now wide awake about those who bastardize the EC whenever they lose power or they lost power. Uh, Bright, 1992, the MPP wrote stolen verdict, which no one stole their verdict. Bright, 2004, they won without EC uh, Gazette in the result. Bright, in 2012, they went to the Supreme Court that 76,000 Togolese voted for Mahama. Should they be, uh, so they should be cancelled. Bright, where is David Asante of Let My Vote Count? By their fruits, we shall know them. And with all this, we should know that the MPP are hazardous to our democracy because it goes for them. Uh, when it goes for them, there's peace. It doesn't, and there's fire upon them. Deadline, Takradi Kujukrum. Olajio Nakwitia says, since the NDC is out of government, I have not heard NDC say uh, what's motivating them to come to government again or power again. All I hear is to criticize policies and initiatives without uh, preferring alternatives. NDC can never again become an alternative to the presidency to give way to create loot and share. Now the EIU comes with uh, another victory for MPP. My question is, uh, NDC, how far 
Bright, finally, good morning. And to the panelists, my old friend Kabila. Is it true that NDC went to court, uh, it was Saturday, to the wrong court, and their case was not well presented? Who do Sally and Damongo is mocking <laughs> from? Uh, <laughs> and then, and uh, <laughs> he's asking, interesting. So many comments here, Bright, uh, but we'll have to, we'll yeah, have to uh, we'll read all the of them here later. The of Thank you I'll very much. Wrap up our conversation. Yeah, right, uh, I just want to uh, urge my comrade Kabila that if he has wise counsel to give, he should give it to his uh, very good friend, Dr. Bosma. The way he speaks, and in fact, he's, the EC has a spokesperson, he has uh, somebody who speaks for the EC, he has even taken that duty. And the things he says, ask everybody who he is. In fact, when you hear him, you, 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 you will be left with any doubt. I have no, no, no doubt in your mind <laughs> about his uh, MPP credentials. But that one, let's leave it aside. Uh, no, we are talking about... So don't bring that as record. Please let me go to my my substantive issue. I'm saying that you see, uh, uh, Bright, uh, I associate myself with some of the things uh, Komri Kabila and. Uh, Eric. My brother Eric said, <laughs> and I say without any iota of doubt that there are responsibilities on both sides. Yeah. That the radio stations and the others have responsibilities to fulfill in respect of their obligations to the NCA. And the NCA also has obligations to fulfill. But, you see, we are talking about the right of the freedom of expression. It is not just like any other commodity. It is a right that is unquantifiable. You cannot quantify it in monetary terms. So when you are dealing with that right, it's not that it is a right just for the media. It's for the 29 million people of Ghana to so much to express without any let or hindrance their views on national issues. So that right must be tampered sometimes with certain considerations that don't give you the impression that you are about to, 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 to suffocate people and prevent them from exercising that right. Right. You see, the walking stick has where we hold it. It's very long, am I lying? Mm. But it has where you hold it. In fact, if you hold it at the wrong place, it becomes an offensive weapon. Assuming without admitting, that a mosquito settles on your, on your, this, uh, your head. You don't see it, I, I'm with you. I, 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 as a friend, maybe I, I need to uh, 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 Drive the terminate mosquito. that nuisance of the mosquito. Mm -hmm. So. Instead of doing the right thing, maybe using a palm, I go and take a hammer. <laughs> if I take a hammer, right, to kill the mosquito on your head, am I going to cure the mischief of the mosquito? You see, let, let's, let's, let's look at this in, in this context. There may be a nuisance. To abate that nuisance, you need to use the appropriate method to do it. You're not against the use of so, the law. So I'm saying that, <laughs> look, I'm saying that there are many things in the law. And I'm saying that the NCA and I'm not, they want to do some things to maybe try and sanitize. But I'm saying that even at the initial, the methods that are being used are wrong. Number two, there are, there are, there are even regulations. Look, section 13, go ahead read section 13 of the, 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 mm. the uh, Communications Act. You, you, see, you, uh, uh, you see electronic communication. You see that it, it spells out issues. One, you should give 30 day notice. Two, you should allow the radio station to state the, 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 the facts concerning the matter. In other words, to put, a to put, put up a defense. Three, that you should encourage the radio station to be compliant. So, so there are steps. I'm not saying that, uh, uh, Bright, it is not for nothing. The, the, I'm a ranking member on the communication committee. In mm -hmm. fact, we are in the process of sitting down with the MCA as an oversight body. To look at that. To try and look at all these issues mm -hmm. and see how all of us, how the radio stations can be compliant and how NCA can also allow them to continue to work. Alaji, I'm because grateful. We are in an environment where, like it's been said, mm. if you're not careful, it poisons the political uh, 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 environment that you are deliberately going for, for so some uh, 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 poli uh, politically uh, uh, motivated radio stations when you know their political orientation. Okay. And so let, let's, let's, let's cool down.
and allow uh, 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 sanity to prevail so that at the end of the day, the radio stations will have uh, a dialogue with the SEA and for the SEA to ensure that they continue to exist. And I like I'm so grateful. Is the MP for Sagnirugu, a member of the uh, NDC, uh, Joseph uh, Kwabena uh, Bonfe Kabila, is acting general secretary of the CPP, a member of the. Hey, uh, James, sorry, pardon me, uh, because, you, because you've been missing, that's why your name is also getting missing from my name. Gentlemen, I'm grateful. Thank you. I'm grateful. <laughs>